Look at him, he's dead on the floor. My poor Joey bear. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, look at this for carry on. Wow. Wow. That's, that's just a very comfortable doggy. Oh, you're so comfy. Hi guys, long time no chat. I feel like I literally have not been vlogging for forever. Today is a very special day. I just received my Platinum Luxury Hair Extension Bond Remover in the post this morning. So that's what I'm currently doing. I'm taking out my hair extensions. They've been in like nearly five months. So they're well and truly grown out. You've seen the struggles I've had during lockdown with them. I've cut them, I've done everything with them. But now it's time for them to leave my hair. And I'm kind of sad because I just don't know what way my hair is. Well, not that I don't know what way my hair is going to be when they come out. But I'm just like, I don't know. I have really, really short hair as it is. Really fine hair. And I'm just worried about the damage after leaving them in for that long. That's mostly my major concern. But anyway. So I hope you guys are doing well. We're going to take these extensions out together. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a bit of good lighting. The weather in Ireland has been fabulous the last like week. I did a huge clear out of stuff that I had in storage yesterday. My mum and I did that, which was great. So I had like loads of time to like sort through all old things that I had, things that needed to um, go to the bin, like be skipped, stuff that I am donating to charity and then stuff that I'm going to keep for the future. But I went through so much stuff yesterday. My mum and I did it, I think, for about two hours. And then I was relaxing outside. I kind of took a half day yesterday because my boss is actually unwell at the moment. So it's very hard to do Zoom calls and very hard to do our, we do like connect calls as well with all my work colleagues. That's why I haven't actually been vlogging. I've been at work in a lot. So I've been really, really busy. I got extended on my contract, which is fabulous. If you guys didn't know, I got a temporary job working for the government just before the pandemic and I was due to finish up around early June and I got a phone call the other day and they were like we're going to extend your your contract if that's okay with you until the end of September beginning of, of October so I think actually my finishing date now will be September 31st or something like that so I'm going to be working all the way till September so that is why I have not been vlogging guys I've just been kind of busy with work and trying to like do stuff around the house and obviously like work other work comes first so I'm sorry that like Instagram's been a bit lax and I've been a bit lax on YouTube because I've just been kind of focusing on that and yeah that's basically it so I am very excited to take out these hair extensions like just look look at this like it's way grown down past my ear it's just not looking good there's like little stringy bits everywhere it's not too bad if I clip in a hair extension so what I'll do is I will tuck all these bad bits behind my ear and then I will clip in a hair extension like just a, a, a weft that I have and it kind of like fills it out a bit more because obviously they become really stringy and you know they've been in for five months they're just not looking good so I'm so excited to take them out let's do that now just as an FYI you may or may not know this but I've never done this before <laughs> so I'm hoping that I don't wreck my hair but basically you need the hair stuff whatever is in this I don't know I don't even know if there's ingredients on it uh, I don't know, it says for professional use only. I ain't no professional. It sounds or smells like there's like acetone in it. You need a pliers to kind of like weaken the bonds, which is what I'm scared about because that's when I think I'll end up damaging the hair. And then you have to brush out the little mats, obviously, or where the hair has surrounded the extension. And I'm sure I'm going to lose a bit of hair because as you know, you lose like a hundred strands of hair a day so obviously when the bond has been around my natural hair the natural hair has probably been shedding but I haven't noticed it obviously because it's in the bond so there'll be natural hairs kind of like matting together. I've seen myself lose a lot of hair whilst I get them taken out in the salon after what three months? No I'd usually leave them in for yeah well over 12 weeks. So I'm going to section off all my natural hair. I did like one little piece here in the front I've lost, I'd say, in total, maybe about 20 bonds, maybe a bit more, because some of them just got weaker. And then I did try this at home thing, like putting, what the hell was I putting in them? I put, oh my God, this is such a vibe. I put, 
<laughs> oh wow, look at that for a ponytail. That's just gorgeous. I'm trying to move this camera up a bit. I put oil in them, rapeseed oil it was. Um, I put that into the onto the bonds and some of them did break off because of the sesame oil. But uh, hang on, I'm just gonna try and move yours up a little bit. But obviously it's not as good as the proper hair removal thing. So let's start, I'll start on this side because this side I can see a bit better. I'm probably gonna have to get my mum to do a bit of this. So I just spray the stuff on the bond. It smells so like acetone -y, like hair polish remover. <laughs> And then you squash the bond, as far as I'm aware. I feel like this is going to be a long ass process. Like, look how much my hair has grown out from the from the hair extension. Oh, they're so overdue to come out. So I don't know how much of squashing this I need to do before it becomes dangerous. I think that should no, maybe not. Ah. I can kind of move it around in my fingers. Yeah, it's broken down the bonds, so there we go. Pull all that hair out. Do you know what? I need the bin right beside me because I feel like it's going to be a lengthy process of pulling out the hair. Maybe I need more of the solution. I don't know if I'm even putting enough in. I suppose I just soak the bond in it. That's the way they do it in platinum. But this is definitely the best thing I've tried so far. Like, I mean, the oil wasn't really doing it. So this is just like breaking down the bond completely. And then you're left with your natural piece of hair, which obviously is only a small bit because that's what the bond goes around, small bit of hair. And then you lose hair, it sheds. So I'm gonna take my comb, get rid of that little mat that's there. So that's my little piece of hair there. Oh. I need to do, like these all need to come out so quickly. I'm actually delighted that I have this stuff today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work away with this and then I'll come back to you when I have this side taken out and then we'll move on to the next side because I mean, I don't think you really wanna see me taking out my bonds over and over and over. It's gonna be super boring. So I will do this and then I'll come back to you. Hi guys. <laughs> It has been a whole day since I have been back talking to you. Well, it's been yeah, actually two days, sorry. I didn't vlog yesterday. It was the day before I was taking my extensions out. As you can see, they're all out now. My hair is so short. Well, actually, it's grown so much. And um, I seriously need a haircut. Because as you can see, my hair is all like different lengths. Because there's still some of the blonde dye in the bottom of my hair. If you do or do not know my hair journey, it's been a journey and a half. So I have been getting my hair dyed like my natural-ish colour. Like it's a little bit lighter than my natural colour. Would have been like my natural colour when I was young. And then a few little highlights through it. But mostly I'm quite dark as you can see. And uh, what happened is the bottom bits of my hair are still like old blonde from when I was going to my previous hairdresser. But now when I do get blonde in my hair or... I think it's any dye, but blonde in particular, there's Olaplex in it. So it's just making my hair a lot stronger. And you can kind of see that from the top. But uh, the bottom bits, like, I seriously need a trim. But my hair, I was actually surprised when I took it all out. It was actually really, really healthy. And there was no, like, snapped bits. There was a couple of little bits over here that I could see. Like, little wispy bits and new bits of hair. Like, you can kind of see the blonde there just at the ends. That's all old blonde dye and yeah, I, need, I seriously need a hair cut just to get rid of it all. But I'm really happy with the health of my hair, particularly the top bits. Like they were so bad and so damaged and I had such short bits all over my hair. But anyway, my hair is the way it is. I need to go and wash it now because, well I washed it the day I took it out but I just... I don't know, I, I've been like washing it like every two days now because it's like I can get right down to my scalp. It's been ridiculously sunny here in Ireland and I've gotten a little bit of a colour which I'm kind of happy with and it's great because I've been like trying on clothes. I got like clothes from Shein, I'll show you them as well and they all look great with a little bit of a tan. I'm so happy the weather has been nice in Ireland. It's not great today but the last few days has been super nice and even when I was taken out, I'm just gonna open this a bit. 
yeah even when I was taking out my hair extensions the other day I, like the sun was just beaming down on me by the way it took three hours to take out my hair extensions I am so glad I did not vlog that whole thing because three hours is just ridiculous like super long time to take out hair extensions yeah I got an order from Shein and I'll show you that but I need to go for a shower first I think wash my hair sort my sort my life out and I'll come back and show you all those things hey so I'm just out of the shower and I just straightened my hair so you can kind of see it a bit better now. It's um, definitely a lot fuller than it used to be. Like I remember just all the front of this fringe was just non-existent. And hence why I kind of have a fringe. Because obviously I was drying my hair blonde. So like my hair was chemically snapping off. Um, but I'm just so happy like with all this like a little fresh growth and... I don't know, I know it looks like absolutely nothing, you're probably looking at me going, your hair is so short, but for me, this is definitely progress, and I think it's just from the way that Platinum dye my hair, and the treatments that they're using, and the Olaplex, and going dark definitely has helped. So I have a lot of blonde, as you can see, in my hair, but like, I'm a lot more dark than I've ever been before. This is the darkest I think I've been since I was 16, which is crazy because I've been blonde that long. But I actually prefer it darker and yeah. Anyway, let's move on. So I'm going to do a little haul for you guys. Today is the 28th of May. So I'm very excited for June to arrive and hopefully like a little bit of a lifting on the quarantine and stuff. I think they're lifting stuff on Monday. No, it's the 8th of June. Sorry. So it's Monday week and I think you can go like be around four people that aren't from your household, obviously keeping social distance and stuff like that. So I've obviously seen my boyfriend now with the stage, which is great. And um, because they lifted restrictions and he could travel five kilometers and stuff like that. So I was able to spend time with him. Um, we've gone on walks. We had a picnic in the Phoenix Park. We've done a couple of little things, just the two of us, which has been great. So it was like such a relief being able to see him again because there was a stage. I think it was six weeks I had gone without seeing him. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. So we saw each other. I think it was three weeks ago and we've kind of been seeing each other two or three times a week which is great so it's helping a lot. You know, lockdown in this country I'm not really sure what the story is because there is still lockdown but people are traveling and I don't I don't really understand but as far as I'm aware you're only allowed to travel five kilometers until the 8th of June and you're it's all the same rules apply, apply until then but that's the story as of now and things will probably change um, we have all our rules in place, but I don't know what way they're going to change. So I'm going to show you the clothes that I have gotten for the last little while. We'll start with like Shein, I think. And then I have a pretty little thing, thing, pretty little thing package and an ASOS package. So these are the three little bags that I have. I'll go through that one last. I've already opened this stuff and had a look at it, obviously. The first one is the ASOS one. I just threw this back in here. I just picked up this Adidas tie-dye bikini top I actually thought that it was like a crop top but it's actually a bikini because it's made of that kind of lycra I got it in a size 8 however I do wish it kind of sized up in it because it is a bikini it's kind of a lot more tight I usually wear a size 6 in most adidas stuff but I just feel like for whatever reason this is just a little bit tight the 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 elastic it's perfect like it fits me fine but I just prefer it a little bit more loose so a 10 would have been perfect so I know I'm just gonna make do with it I'm not sending it back because I do really like it and it's out of stock but just in the future I think I would definitely size up so I just got that then from Pretty Little Thing I just picked up a crop top I did get a pair of jeans but for some reason they haven't come they, they came in two separate packages which is really weird I love these crop tops from Pretty Little Thing because I just feel like they're real basic but they are they're lovely like obviously like I have a bit of a tan now there there's my speaker turning off they're nice little bit of a tan they're lovely with like mom jeans they're just handy and I think it was only like nine or something I got it like with a discount code and stuff they always have discount codes a pretty little thing so I'm just waiting for the jeans now we have the shoot in things so the first one I got here I have them all opened and I tried everything on they're so cute I might try them on again for you later but I got this little top it's just a little white polka dot or Dalmatian spot top Um, it doesn't have a name on it which is kind of annoying but I will link everything that I can below so if you do like anything but it's so cute on and it kind of ruffles up at the front it's just a really pretty pretty top I really like it the next one I got this is my favorite top actually from the entire 
haul. It is a little floral yellow print top and it has this little tortoise shell ring in the center and a zip on the back. So cute on, like I cannot express how pretty this is on. It's so gorgeous. I picked up jammies. They come with a little top, it's like a spaghetti strap string top type thing, um, which is really nice. And then the bottoms, supposed to be midi length, as in like they go just above your ankle, but they're <laughs> my short ass. They're kind of like graze my ankles so they look a bit weird on me but um I don't care they're pajamas like it doesn't really make much of a difference they kind of have this slinky material they're very see-through uh, well not very see-through but like they're see-through if you were wearing black undies you'd be able to see them so just I suppose pick your undies correctly with that what else did I get in here oh yeah this top is so nice as well I kind of forgot what I got because I picked up all this stuff last week um, I'm not crazy about the material in this flowers on it. I think they're roses. And then it has these kind of like little bell sleeves. This is the last clothing item. This is what that top looks like. And then it's like a crisscross and you tie it. Oh my God, Chewy. Chewy's down there. <laughs> He's just like lying on my foot. So that's what that looks like. Um, yeah, and then I got this necklace. Oh, I don't know if you can kind of see. It's like a rose. And then it has like little pearls on it. Super cute. And I think I got two more... Oh no, I got three more. I got a pair of earrings. I don't know why I purchased these because I already have something so similar to them from ASOS. Um, I have no idea why I got them. Again, but sure, look, I have doubles. Maybe I'll give them to my sister. And then I just got a plain pair of hoops. I don't know if you can see them there. That's what they look like. And then I got a necklace that has a lock and a key which I just thought was really cute it's like two necklaces so that is all I got from Shein I'm gonna put them away now because I wanted to show you guys them I got them last week and I just didn't have time to kind of show you with work and everything I just haven't been able to do any YouTube and I've been reading comments and stuff and people are like where have you gone what's going on why aren't you on YouTube and it's just because I'm working and um, I'm really sorry and I did explain that in video like a long time ago that the videos are going to be sporadic and I am sorry like so obviously that job does come first like I love YouTube and I love it so much and I wish I had more time to do both but it's just the way that it's working out even though I am working from home I'm still kind of busy and stuff so I don't know it's a good thing and a bad thing for YouTube but you know hey ho so yeah that's pretty much all that's going on right now kind of boring but you know that's it is what it is we're still in lockdown so there's not really much you can do I'm just grateful that the weather is really really nice like it's after getting really sunny again today it's really really it's just really nice and it just makes everything so much better when the weather is nice tried on the little jammy set and they're so cute they're supposed to be like I said you can see the bottoms are supposed to be like up there but because I'm a bit shorter they're a bit longer on me I suppose I could kind of like roll them up a bit maybe to make them ankle grazers that's just what they look like on the girl on the website anyway I think they're super cute and I'm wearing them with my little fuzzy slippers I got them slippers in Tesco's they're so cute but um I don't know if they're still available I was in Tesco's the other day and I don't think you can get them anymore but they're super super cozy I love them just tried on the new earrings so now I actually am gonna go and work <laughs> because the weather has been so nice here in Ireland I have been making myself an iced coffee and I'll make it for you now if you want to see it but I did put it up on Instagram as well just if you were more interested um it's I think I saved it to a highlight as well so you can look at it on my Instagram but I picked up this milk the other day in Aldi and I just realized it's the sweetened version and I'm kind of raging but I have to use it anyway I did try this with it and it's a little bit too sweet so I just put a little bit less of this um, milk in so I'm just gonna fill up the milk first normally I put the syrup in so I'm just using almond milk and then I just kind of pour it there halfway and then I just put in a bit of the syrup I've been using this Monin 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 <laughs> Monin this is the vanilla I'm just kind of pour in a bit like that and then mix it through and then I just pour in my cold brew oh damn it I should have actually pressed that down pour in my cold brew coffee which I made this morning put it in the fridge and I kind of like it strong it depends on your own personal preference 
um, but I just personally prefer it strong. And then I put some ice cubes into it, but I'll do that in a minute because I'm gonna make myself a bit of a salad. I need something to eat. I'm gonna make myself a Caesar salad. I've obviously washed this and my hands, and I'm just gonna take out some of the lumpy bits. I don't like them bits of, of lettuce. I'm gonna make a Caesar salad. It's not like the healthiest thing, because the dressing I find can be, obviously it's a little bit fat and Caesar dressing, but this is just filling and I just really like it. And it's a really good kind of quick snack. So I've just tore up a little bit of chicken and some little bits of bacon, and then I'm gonna put in a little bit of cheese, some croutons and my Caesar dressing. So the Caesar dressing I'm using is just the one from Tesco's and that's basically it. Very much looking forward to eating this. I'm gonna add some ice into this. I'm actually so obsessed with this iced coffee. I think it's like my favorite thing I've been drinking in the last two weeks. I cannot get enough of it. It's so good. Are they like a sugar-free variety of the syrup or something a little bit lower calorie? Because I do realize there's an awful lot of sugar in that syrup, even though I don't put that much in, but still. And then the unsweetened variety of almond milk is a much better option than the sweetened version because it just makes it just a teeny bit too sweet. But I don't, I prefer the taste of the vanilla if that makes any sense. Like you have a look at the different milk varieties. So anyway, I'm gonna go eat my salad. Well, hello guys. I'm just here editing some of the footage from today's vlog and I found a Zara haul on one of, a haul, haul, where is it that? A Zara haul. And one of my hard drives so I'm gonna edit that for you guys as well oh god my arms going dead I have a couple of things other videos that I found in the hard drive as well to, to edit so I'm gonna try and do that it's stuff to do for work today and I got some of it done and then I got like locked out of my remote access so now I'm trying to get back into it it's like nine o'clock at night and I'm still trying to get back into it for like the last few hours and um, so I think I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow which kind of sucks. Tomorrow Paddy and I are going for a nice long walk, probably around his local area, um, cause there's like nice little walks and nice little parks and stuff. So I think that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. He's going back out to his building. He is an architect, so a lot of the stuff that he does, obviously he has to go and do an on-site inspection. And currently his project is working on a hotel that's been built so he has to go out and inspect that and I was talking to me about that there now so that's kind of like all the news that I think I've had since I was last talking to you oh getting a bit sleepy I was watching Love Hate so like Love and Love Hate again it's really weird because I haven't watched that series since it was on TV at first which was like 2010 I think 20 I think it finished in 2014 yeah so like eight years ago it's 10 years old like that's ridiculous and some of the series are actually looking really dated like the first series is really dated looking I'm only after finishing the third series now I've been watching it for like the last week I was watching normal people I've watched that series three times and I just I oh my god every single time I see the finale of it I ball crying it was on TV again last night and it finishes next week but I've already seen it, like I finished it twice. I watched it myself alone and then I watched it with Patty. Then my mum was watching it and I started watching it again with her and then Patty was watching it so I watched some episodes with him as well. So it's kind of like, I'm like watching it, like a different episodes but, but ultimately I've seen the series like some episodes three times, some episodes two times, it's kind of crazy. Anyway, I, I really like that series. It's so good, like so, so good. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna finish up today's vlog because I have a lot of footage that I'm trying to edit and if I keep blabbing on a bit longer, it's gonna be even more. But guys, if you did enjoy today's vlog, do let me know, I'm gonna try and vlog again. I will talk to you all in my next video. If there's anything you would like to see, do let me know. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.